In the small Trone village of Galbally, the funeral took place this afternoon of Martin Harrison, the sixth man to die in the H-block hunger strikes. Harrison died on Monday morning, earlier than expected on the 46th day of his fast. Today, a large crowd came out for the ceremonies. But in spite of the army operation at the funeral parade for Joe MacDonald last Friday, an IRA firing party did appear to discharge shots over Harrison's coffin. Our reporter, Clive Ferguson, was there. All of Martin Herson's family were present for the funeral, but of course this was more than just an occasion for family mourning. The presence of Jerry Adams of Sinn Féin made that clear, as did the IRA men and women in full dress uniform, who formed a guard of honour for Herson's coffin, complete with the symbols of his membership on top. It was a political occasion too for many of those who lined the route, and for the thousands who walked behind the coffin on its two-mile journey from the Herson home to St John's Church at Galbally. There, the local priest appealed to the crowd to be level-headed for an urgent, peaceful and just solution to what he called the dreadful agony of Ireland. And he asked them to pray that Herson's death would be the last one of its kind. The army were not the only ones anxious to see if and where the IRA would stage the ceremony of firing shots over the coffin following last week's arrest after Joe MacDonald's funeral. In the event, four masked men stood beside clergy at the graveside. To applause from the crowd and from at least one of the clergy, the firing party left. Martin Herson was serving a 20-year sentence for conspiracy to kill British soldiers and membership of the IRA. Today, thousands of people gathered in the countryside of County Tyrone to see his funeral. His coffin was flanked by nine IRA men in full dress uniform, and among the mourners was Jerry Adams, vice president of provisional Sinn Féin. Last Friday, his brother Patrick was shot when the army went in to arrest the firing party at the last IRA funeral. Today, the crowd waited anxiously for any similar reaction. As the coffin was about to be lowered into the ground, three masked and uniformed men stepped forward and drew handguns from their jackets. But afterwards, the men made an easy getaway, and the security forces made no immediate attempts to capture them. An army spokesman had no comment to make, except, he said, that such operations are only mounted on individual circumstances. John Underwood, News at 10, County Tyrone.